shoes? Uh, if you want them, it's up to you. Do I need them? No. Yeah, it was just colder than today, that's why I have shoes. No, I just turned it on, so we'll give people like a, a minute or two. We'll get a notification. Um, I feel like we're not going to build it as far as We need a lot of space. It's fine. For what we're doing today, you know, yeah, it's all gonna be like within your one mat, you have lots of space. Uh, okay. It'd be funny if we did this whole work in, I just didn't actually record it or put it live. I just, <laughs> That'd be terrible. And I'm like talking to the camera and it wasn't actually on. <laughs> I Whatever. have to be back at work soon. Oh, okay. Like 135 ish. We will be done. I think by then. Right. Especially if we just get started right now. So this is live home workout number nine. Uh, start off with a couple of just simple um, balance exercises just to kind of see how everyone's doing with their balance. We've done some one leg deadlifts, but let's just start off, see how we can do just balancing on one leg. Okay, pretty good. And then just swinging the leg a little bit. Pretty good. Okay, if you Pretty simple, you can always try to do it with your eyes closed. Ooh. It's hard to swing the leg with the eyes closed, so it doesn't really affect your balance. So we'll switch to the other leg, just pick it up, swing that leg. Okay, pretty stable, especially as squash players, we become really um, imbalanced, I would say, just using our dominant side so much, so doing some balance work on one leg is really important. So now try with the eyes closed, balance. It's one side easier or more difficult to balance. For me, this one's a little harder. <laughs> uh, okay, anyways, we're gonna keep moving because Jen has to get back to her real job. This isn't her paying job. So we're gonna be on her knees, one foot forward, doesn't matter which one. It's gonna seem simple, but this is going to be harder than the last one, and we might crash into each other. Very simple is you're just going to see if you can pick up and hold your front foot off the floor. If you lose your balance, you just try it again. See if you can, how long can you pick that foot, uh, keep that leg off the floor. You can tell this is quite a bit more difficult. <laughs> Sorry. And then also, just not just keeping that foot up, but also without like all the waffle, <laughs> trying to actually still have good posture. But uh, this one I've practiced a little bit, and it's still actually is quite challenging for me to actually keep this foot up for more than five, ten seconds. All right, let's try the other side. All right, pick that left foot up. Oh, I'm leaning. And I think a more symmetrical athlete, well-trained athlete off, off the squash court is probably going to be a lot better at balancing these types of exercises. Try a few more. That foot up. I'm trying. Uh, All right. Whew. Okay, we'll just go down and do a squat, finish kind of loosening it up. And uh, while I'm down here, I'm gonna explain, basically today's workout's just gonna be two, uh, two things, basically. Um, so we're gonna go through our first chunk, and I'll explain that, and then when we're done that, I'll explain the second chunk of the workout. Um, don't have a watch, you don't need a watch today, it's gonna be very simple, but uh, challenging. So the idea is that we're gonna do 100 squats, you that yet so 100 squats um, and any time you want to take a break you can but every time you take a break you have to do five push-ups so obviously if you're doing just five to ten squats and then you're do, having to do push-ups you're gonna end up doing a lot more push-ups the whole exercise is gonna take you a lot longer if you're able to go and do maybe sets of 15 to 20 you'll be doing a lot less push-ups by the end but obviously those squat uh, squats are gonna be a little bit tougher um, so you don't really need any weight. If you don't have any weight and you're not sure and you feel like you could just do 100 in a row, then just pick one of us and when we're stopping to do our push-ups, you can go and do, uh, do your push-ups. And 
if you think five is too many for you, then do like three push-ups or whatever you think is appropriate for maybe having to do five to 10 uh, sets. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a 35 pound weight. There's two there, Jen, I don't know if you want that, at least 12 pound weight, come on, yes. Show them how strong you are. Okay, and remember, so we're just gonna do 100 total. Anytime that you wanna take a break, then you take that break, but it has to be five push-ups first. So you have to do your own counting here because it'll be at a different pace than we're doing here. I haven't really thought out how many I want to do. I thought I would just wing it and do it when I feel like I need a breather. But I also count. I can't talk too much here. I'll lose 15. count. How many? 16. Go for I'll go for 30. Is that 30? Nope. Whew. Okay. Whew. So, an active break. Put the weight down. Five push ups. Right into it today. Deep breath until it started off not too bad. It's gonna get harder. And it's live, Jen. You can't back out anymore. <laughs> okay, so we're at 30. Five more. No, ten more. You want? <sighs> All right. Seven. I'm at fifty-five. She's going for sixty. Five push-ups. more. A couple of deep breaths and add up more of those squats till we get to 100. 40 more. 45 for me. <laughs> Anymore. 
75. more to do. I'm probably going to need one more break. 25 is a lot to do straight at the end. I have 10 more. Should be able to do them all once. I think I did 30, 25, 20, 15, and now 10, which is 100. So that works for this time of circuit. Or you could do sets of 20, 25, uh, or just do as many as you can each, each set. <coughs> Okay, last 10. camera. Our ratings have never been higher. Uh, but why do, we, why do I always work on squats uh, and lunges? It could be a hint of what's coming next. But uh -oh. obviously super important for squash, being able to get into that position, right? Digging the ball out of the back of the court, um, being explosive with your movement off the tee. Uh, we don't hit every shot off one lunge, so I think good to be able to do both squat and the lunge. So if you're late joining us, we just did our first chunk of our training, which was we had to do 100 total squats with whatever weight you had or no weight is fine. Anytime you need a break, you can take it, but you had to do five push-ups. So going into chunk number two, same idea. So it's a short, sweet, but painful workout is 100 total lunges. So that's gonna mean 50 per side. You can be doing your lunge forwards, your lunge backwards, that's up to you. But you're basically gonna be, I recommend doing one leg, switch the other leg, so counting that'd be like two. And you have to get to 100 total lunges. You can tell today's really a leg day, but even just holding that weight, I could feel how engaged my core is going down and not like collapsing, so it still is, you know, it's really light-based workout. Your core is engaged the whole time if you're doing this, holding even just a small little weight. So, that so you're- like a subtle diss at me. No, no what, what does that mean? No. Why is it not engaging you your core? Okay. Um, you know, that's more if someone's not using the weight, they might get away with that, so. 
uh, like if you go down and you squat and you don't have any weight, like is your core actually engaged? It's easy to tell just poking your core, right? And if you do have a weight here, you're really forced to kind of keep that your core tighter. Okay, on the lunges. So, um, knowing how difficult that was, I think I'm gonna use a slightly lighter weight for this. This is 25 pounds. Uh, Jen, why don't you grab that that one there? I think it looks like at least 40. Um, okay, so same thing again. Anytime you need a break, take it. Go at your own speed. It's not trying to rush through. Um, and make sure when you're lunging, you're not like pulling back out of your lunge. Try to actually use your leg to push you back if you're going forwards. Um, and then five push-ups. I was gonna do burpees, but I think this is already hard enough. Burpees. Five. Okay, your choice. Five push-ups or burpees anytime you need a break within your 100 total lunges. So 50 per leg. And again, you can have the weight anywhere you like it. I like it up here. But uh, here we go. Block number two of our training. Last one. So, one. Legs are me sore tomorrow. I'm playing pickleball later. There's not a lot of running in doubles. All right, 30, I'm gonna do um, burpee variation. So five of them and then back to lunges. same path as the first circuit um, 30 on the first set so I don't really want to do an, an odd mount so 25 lunges because that'll be one extra on one leg you may end up starting with that leg so I'll try to go for an even number I'm gonna switch which hand I was carrying this in this time I'm gonna lunge backwards so adding on to your 30 Stopping for your burpees. <laughs> it's not any time you want. What are we at? Fifty-four. Oh. 
Oh, arm is getting fatigued. Carrying that weight up to sixty. Stub your toe. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, Happens when you get tired. Okay. But good news, only 40 lunges left. 20 per leg. So seeing I've done two sets of 30, I'll probably try to do two sets of 20 here. I'm gonna go back, switch legs or switch arms. <clears throat> Maybe I'll go forwards again this way. so far. Tough one, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Not a lot of breaks. But form is good. <laughs> I'll do the last set without without a weight. Better do it with better form. Don't want to get injured. So ideally, we do the last set. I'm gonna go backwards again so you can mix it up. Five more. Last one. All right. Last set of push ups, burpees. Tough one. Another week that I'm sweating the most cool. Jen isn't. <laughs> a freak of nature. <laughs> um, so that was home live workout number nine. Pretty damn tough. I think 
no matter how fit you are, squash player, not squat, squash player, with no weight, a little weight, don't use too much. You wouldn't want to be like, you can't do 10 straight squats with uh, the weight you're using or lunges. You don't want to be going to 100. I and mean, you can switch that to like 50 total um, and then switch up the exercise you're doing for your break. But I know there's some CrossFit exercises that are similar where basically you have to do X number total, but anytime you have a break, you have to do uh, something different. So I think in chunk one, that was squats, 100 squats. Every break, you had to do five push-ups. I did 30, 25, 20, 15, and 10 for 100. I think Jen did all hers in like three chunks. Um, didn't want to do as many push-ups, but I still made it, I don't know if it's any easier. Second chunk for the 100 lunges total, I did 30, 30, 20, and 20. So it was like 50 lunges total on each leg. Mix up forwards, backwards, um, and then at each time you need to break, it was just uh, five push-ups again or five push-ups in a burpee. And we'll finish again with, again, Jen moving the camera. So I guess that's why the ratings have never been higher. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoy this workout and you'll join at least me, maybe Jen, um, next week, uh, probably on Friday again, maybe even uh, my brother one of these days. And if you are a member of the club, you would have just seen an email about some uh, outdoor summer training, July and August. So only eight spots. If you want to take part of that, you know how to contact me. Let me know and uh, we'll get you fit. All right. See you next week. Have a good weekend.